welcome to the AgriPhoto YouTube channel where we're showcasing organic farming in the Netherlands. In this video, we follow the Van Voorden family and their unique farming enterprise, located in the center of the Netherlands in the Flavorpolder. This video focuses on onions and carrots, seedbed preparation, drilling and weed control. It is early March when the first fields are dry enough to be prepared. A brand new John Deere 6R155 is preparing land for onions. Using a 4.5 meter wide VSS Agro Seedbed Preparator and Selly Power Harrow. The tractor is fitted with tracks from Canadian manufacturer Susi. The idea is that no soil is compacted where the crop will grow. The tractor and drill will follow the exact same tracks using RTK GPS for steering. We'll see the drilling action later in this video. Spring 2025 started early and soon turned dry, allowing the season to start early. This kind of light silt soil is typical for the farm. These fields, all reclaimed from the sea, have been deep ploughed, over a metre deep, and the light clay with high organic matter content is perfect for growing a wide range of vegetable crops. This is what the farm specialises in. These crops are grown, graded, packed and sold by the farm. Ridging for carrots and planting the crops is also done today at the other end of the field. A John Deere 6215R is using a 4.5 meter wide AVR rotary hook tine cultivator to create six 75 centimeter wide ridges, which is the standard in this country. It is no problem creating a fine tilth, and this field was ploughed only recently after an overwintering cover crop has been grown after last year's crop. The tractor is fitted with all-round row crop dual wheels to reduce compaction. It is one of the biggest tractors on the farm that consists of a fleet of mostly John Deere tractors ranging from 85 to 360 horsepower. This land was reclaimed from the sea in the 1950s and 60s and divided into square blocks, leased to farmers by the government. A gigantic project that includes over 140,000 hectares. This field is 26 hectares, typical for the farm, and onions and carrots will be grown here. One of the smallest tractors in the fleet, an 85 horsepower John Deere 5085M, is drilling the carrots almost immediately behind the ridger as soon as it hazed off. The carrots are sown using a monosem precision drill that drills six rows per pass. A second person on the back constantly monitors the drill and fills the hoppers with seed. Van Vorden can rely on a dedicated team of employees that carry out almost all the jobs in hand. These carrots will be ready for harvest early July. Drilling takes place from early March up to late April or early May, depending on the variety and destination. Early carrots are one of the specialities of the business. They are washed, graded and packed on farm and sold all over Europe. All crops are certified organic, partly under the Demeter label, which is a label for certified biodynamic agriculture. This holistic approach to organic farming has different and very strict rules compared to traditional organic farming. Later in March, the onions are also sown. Here, the variety Highlander is drilled, which has a high resistance to downy mildew, which is one of the most difficult to control diseases in onions. 
The tiny onion seeds are referred to as units, and one unit contains 250,000 seeds. 3.8 units per hectare is an average amount, meaning almost 1 million seeds are planted per hectare, or 10,000 square metres. The same tractor is used, but with another monosem drill. Here, four rows of onions are growing on a 1.5 metre wide bed, as they're referred to. You can see a separate GPS receiver on the drill, which is needed for the RTK GPS. Steering discs are used to keep the drill dead straight. This is done because the crop will be hoed for weed control, making this job a lot easier if the rows are straight. After the seed coulter, small press wheels firm the seed in the moist ground and a wider rubber roller firms the top. This is a pneumatic drill, which means that air is used to suck seed to a seed disc and place it in the ground at an exact depth for ultimately an even onion crop. No headlands are drilled, as with most crops in the polders. The yield and quality on the headland will always be less. It is easier for tractors to turn and, in case of emergencies, water can flow directly in the adjoining ditch. The seeding depth is around 2 centimetres, and you can see that the soil is of a slightly heavier type compared to the field that you saw before. As soon as the crops are in the ground, the battle against the weeds starts. This year, Van Vorden invested in this laser weeder from USA-based company Carbon Robotics. This uses laser beams to kill weeds, as seen in this crop of carrots. This is the main task for this tractor, which provides a stable platform with its tracks and can work under all circumstances. Weed control continues six days a week, 24 hours a day. The weeds have a day off on a Sunday. Carbon Robotics was formed in 2018, and last year the first machines arrived in the Netherlands. It is impressive to see the 30 CO2 lasers at work, which use movable mirrors to direct the laser beams to the weeds. Ten crop cameras spot the weeds, even if they're only a millimetre in size. A lot of cooling and computer power is hidden beneath the white guards, making the $1.5 million machine one of the most advanced and expensive of its kind in the world. It is 5.8 metres wide and is scanning six carat ridges per pass. The machine can detect and zap up to 5,000 weeds per minute. Only a 5 centimetre band on top of the ridge, in between and around the carrots is covered. The weeds growing elsewhere can be removed using a hoe. A generator on the front generates the required electricity, as each laser needs 105 watts of power. Tablets are used to monitor and control the machine. Each carrot plant has a blue circle around it, and the weeds show up in red. Working speeds vary from 2 km an hour up to 2.4 km an hour, where weed pressure is very high, such as seen here. The operator can also see visually which weeds are removed and what percentage is missed. Van Vorden used the machine in carrots and onions and has been satisfied with the results so far, which results in a massive saving in labour cost. We hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next video, which will revolve around the harvest. Please let us know what you think of this video in the comments below. See you next time. Goodbye.